Yes, we can! Welcome to Crypto News Fan on the Right, our favorite troll Elon Musk just bought Twitter and what's gonna happen with the crypto world. If you wanna know about that, just join us here, Crypto News Fan on the Right, Crypto Atope! Yesterday was the end of the BDZ 2022. It was awesome, amazing. Thousands of people uh, gathered together there to learn about the crypto world, blockchain, etc. All the retail and institutions together with NFTs, with metaverse, with DeFi. Thank you very much, BDZ 2022. And we are just waiting till next year. And we are. Uh, so anxious for it. We had a special show yesterday there and we met a lot of people. Thank you very much. We will show all the pictures and all the videos in the future. Next week, you'll have all the specials. But if you can't wait, well, you have a lot of information in ODC, a free platform uh, more than YouTube, where you can watch some of our live videos, the ones we did there, where the Bitcoin price went crazy. We went up as crazy. We got to $21,000, but we are back again. So a baby is like, what's going on in the market? And this cat is so concerned because he thought Bitcoin is under $20,000. But right now we are just above it. So maybe we will maintain above it. Probably so. But remember our expectation, our speculation that Bitcoin might follow the path of 2018 and go south 14 or 22 November. We'll see about that and we'll see if the monthly candle will close in the green or in the red. Remember the bowling and bands, the past times Platithus telling us that the price was in the top part of the Bollinger Bands, we went south. So we are going again. The rest of the price prediction and analysis, just go to the last video. Everything stills the same. We look to the dollar and dollar is up. So Bitcoin and all the other assets are going down as usual in United States. After some days of everything going up, we are going down again. So that's the situation. We have drops for Amazon, for Apple, 20% here, 20% there. That's above uh, like something like uh, $220 billion erased in minutes. So what about the crypto volatility? Well, you have volatility now in the stock market as well. Amazon losing a lot, but remember that those were the sales in 1995. 500 million and today they get that every 30 seconds also amazon planning to drop your packages uh with this huge i uh, think on the air crazy future utopic or this topic just tell me in the comments below what do you think this is meta also uh after called um before called facebook uh crazy as as it is it's going down 20% too. Also, Google going down. And Alex Kruger, that has this nice idea. He's telling us that in the past, if those monsters uh, would fall a lot, well, the crypto market would fall larger than them. But right now, we just fall like 2%, 3%. So maybe we are becoming resilient because uh, we are decoupling from the market. Well, maybe, maybe not. Time will tell. And time will tell if, uh, as Platyzu believes, uh, both Amazon and Apple will retest their parabolas in the uh, stock market because of the data they are releasing to the public today. Also, uh, it's a good thought that uh, 25 years ago, Apple lost $1 billion. Today, $1 billion in profit is made every five days in Apple which is crazy. Also crazy that Credit Suisse is down 95% from its all-time highs and down 75% in the last year, down 20% today. But in the new movie of uh, Zac Efron's Gold, well, they talk about Bitcoin price and it's at $1.25 million. Let's listen to it. Bitcoin. 
we better hold some just in case this is not financial advice i have no clue i just know that uh the hash rate is going uh up every day but also in the other hand the uh, price of the hash is going to an all-time low so that means pressure for the miners that might sell some bitcoin in order to maintain operations but on the good side well you can see a president obama's deputy chief of staff jim messina betting you that bitcoin will go uh far from sixty thousand in the future and he is betting his porch on it you know anything so in and around twenty thousand dollars can ever get am, back to sixty some odd oh i'll, I'll bet you my porsche it gets back to sixty. really yeah okay. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Crazy bets, also good things from Documented Bitcoin and Fidelity. They are telling us that 74% of institutions are planning on buying Bitcoin and digital assets. Good from Hong Kong. They plan to legalize retail Bitcoin and crypto trading, according to Bloomberg. And also the next prime minister of United Kingdom is happy about crypto. You can see that he's even dancing. He's talking about CBDCs. We'll see if that's a good thing or not, as we talk about in past videos. Do not miss out that also. Cash App is enabling sending and receiving Bitcoin Lightning payments for uh, 40 million users. So that's uh, some people fighting with Elon Musk for crypto adoption. We are in the 30 in the greed and fear index so uh we still in fear in the market and i'm a little bit concerned and worried about elon musk our favorite troll because he is already owner of twitter is gonna be the ceo is he gonna free the bird or not here you can see him going to the office in san francisco with his truck but he's in the wrong direction he doesn't care he also has this gun and he's uh, like um, firing everybody there. Uh, the main people in the company I are out already and more to come. He's going to change everything. The deal is done. $44 billion was the price. Remember that all the fortunes in the world, uh, like Elon Musk, like Donald Trump, like Peter Thiel, they are trying to buy uh, social networks as in the past Murdoch and all the rich families would fight for the Wall Street Journal and Chicago Tribune and all the newspapers then the radios after that the TVs but right now the TVs worth nothing we want social media and Elon Musk wants to be there and he wants to fight against WeChat actually he wants to copy it making the application the application for everything here we have a nice tweet from blogworks telling you all the things that elon Musk stole is gonna do with twitter or might do with twitter for example making the algorithm open source which is a very good thing removing spam bots very good thing too easier verification all blue members should get an authentication check mark he said and he also said the price should be lower to two dollars per month but pay 12 months up front. I want to be part of that. But for me, the most important thing is payments. He might introduce some crypto payments inside. That would be awesome. He knows a lot. Remember, he's passed with PayPal, etc. Also, longer tweets. Uh, I don't think that's a very good idea because people doesn't want to read more. They want to read less. But number six, he wants free speech. It's not like everything is okay in Twitter, not illegal stuff, but he wants freedom of speech there, which we believe it's awesome. Awesome is also that he might reward creators fighting with YouTube that is not comp com uh, is not com giving us money anymore. Like you get very little with YouTube. So maybe now uh, with Twitter, we will be able of making more. And finally, the everything app. This is the final idea competing with WeChat. He might want to do everything. And I believe also that he's trolling Jeff Bezos. Why? Because remember that Amazon was the everything store. That was the logo, the motto of the company. Uh, he had this 
wonderful technology called internet and created a store that was impossible uh, before that, which was a bookshop with all the books in the world on it. So he made that possible. And after that, not just books, but also music and then the rest. So it's from A to Z in the logo and everything is um, viable in Amazon. Well, right now, uh, Elon Musk wants the same, but in an app. So we can have an Instagram, we can have a WhatsApp, and we can make payments and certifications and everything with the X app, which will uh, be useful for everything. If you want to learn about the everything store from Jeff Bezos or uh, the life of Elon Musk, you have both books on Audible. You have a free trial there. If you use the link in the description, you help the channel. Thank you very much. Remember that you can listen to X and some people in the channel are listening to me in 2X. And when I speak 1X, they believe they are talking with Alexa because that's so slow. Also, if you want free storage in your cell phone, just free it with Amazon Photos. And also you will get 15 euros with the link in the description. Thank you very much. You have all the information about this in this video called Google Crypto All In plus the trick for the 15 euros on Amazon. There is Elon Musk coming to the headquarters in San Francisco with this sink. He's going to clean his hands. What is the meaning of this? Just give a comment below. Thank you very much, Elon Musk, that he's telling here. Well, it took you like years for that edit the bottom. I want more than that. We are going to work faster. I want to copy WeChat. WeChat in China. Uh, and like in China, you can like live on WeChat, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's like, yeah, everyone, everyone is like, do they like you live on WeChat? You do payments, you do everything. It's like, yep. it's great. Mm -hmm. Basically, WeChat can kick ass. Um, and we don't have anything like WeChat outside of China. It's true. So, like my idea would be like how about if we just copy wechat <laughs> <laughs> let's just copy wechat that's it in the past chinese people would be around the world with the cameras on just copying everything right now united states are the one copying china life changes a lot also we think twitter to allow nfts to be directly displayed on tweets making it easier to buy and sell nfts that's a good thing for the crypto world. And also, it's a bad thing in the world that some other apps are becoming uh, so uh, censorship. Like, for example, PayPal. Again, remember the other day we talked about uh, that fine you can have for $2,500. If you say something that is not what they believe you have to say, well, they can take $2,500 from you. They say that, and after that, they say, oh, it was a mistake. Uh, we're not going to do that. But quietly, they just uh, put this again. So they are reintroducing the two point, uh, the 2,500 misinformation fine. So maybe you believe only women can get pregnant. Well, you can believe that, but you can say that because maybe you will lose 2,500 or many other things. That's not good. We want free speech and we want the market in the green, but it's in the red. The bubbles are in the red too, but for Osmo. And the big ones are following, are falling too. Ethereum, it just went to the moving average of 100 and now it's going down again. So we are trapped between 1,200 and 1,700. The month may be green or not, we'll see next week. And we have good news for Ethereum. For example, Ethereum number of addresses in profit hit a one month high. That's good. Also, that CME group announcing that the third quarter broke all records in Ethereum future volumes and crypto volumes overall. It's good also. Arthur Heiss is telling us, I don't think anything comes close to competing with Ethereum. It's not just everything based on TPSs. It's the development, it's the developers. So Crypto Gucci is telling us that Ethereum continues to attract the most developers of any ecosystem. More than 4,000 monthly active open source devs working on Ethereum, more than 2,500 devs working on DeFi projects. Good luck for all the rest. In the DeFi market, we are above the 4 billion line, and it's good to know that some NFTs still being sold 
from 475 Ethereum, that's $735,000. Also good things that financial traditional world is mixing with the new one. Now Crypto Seba uh, Bank is launching institutional crypto custody service for Ethereum NFTs. Also in that world, OVR are the kings. And we are today with the colors of OVR. And we did in BDC 2022 in Zaragoza, Spain, uh, one of our lands live. And you can see there, thank you to Parrita Brava, a friend of us. It's going to come with us next week uh, to tell us how to do all this, which is not really easy, but he was able to explain it to me. Thank you very much. And finally, we have our own thing there in Zaragoza. But if you are not there, you still can uh, see it in your place, as Tradeo Jones did with the OVR over app. Link in the description. Also, if you didn't in the convention, uh, in the meeting, uh, got your POAP, just do it right now. You have here your POAP uh, QR and you can scan it and have the uh, fun on the right BDZ 2022 NFT with you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for everybody that was there online or physically. And we have more good news for NFTs. The idea is that maybe in the future, if you have Netflix or you have any other service, you can rent it. You know that you are giving away your password to all your family so they can use Netflix. But in the future, you might use crypto to have a return if you buy the subscription. But if you are not using it at that very moment, some other people can use it and you will get some money. That's a very nice idea for the future. Everything has to be developed. Remember, this is 1989. This was a computer, and it was very difficult to explain to everybody. Also, the TI guy had a tie, and these guys are like, how does this work? And now everybody knows. So just wait for development, as right now you can solve Rubik's Cube with an app. That's cheating, yes, but this can be the only way for you on doing it. So find it and just trick your friends. Awesome, but do not rely on electricity and technology. You have to rely on your brain mostly as these guys. They have this system for door opening and closing uh, using just wood a rob. Congratulations on that. And what about nature? Nature is the queen. You can see there all the pollen falling from a tree. That's natural technology that we love. And we love animals. And we love pigs and balls. And we love a pig dancing in a ball. Did you see something like that today? Probably not. What about pigs swimming in Bahamas? That's a thing that is happening too, maybe right now. Those are clean pigs. And this is not a snake. This is a bird pretending to be a snake so that the predators doesn't come close. And this is a catfish that come together. You can't alone, but you can with friends. And they do this to scare us in Halloween, the enemies they have under the sea. What about this scallop using jet propulsion to swim? Crazy stuff and crazy cuddling time for this friend. Just find yours and get some cuddling, some spooning. You can do it, but do not attempt it too much because eventually you may try bad, bad, bad fall. Do, do not hit the ground and become a ninja like this cat that is awesome. He's an expert in the crypto world and he knows how the deal goes. Also, this cat is teaching us what about regret, instant regret. Be careful with your actions because you might get wet. wet. What about this one? He's in trouble too. Come on. This is the last time you do something like that. Now, 
we have to clean you up again. And what about this guy is crazy just running here and there? Did you know about Elon Musk? Did you know about PayPal? Did you know about Bitcoin? Yes, we do. Yes, we can. If you want this video in Spanish, go to Fun on the Ride. And if you want more in English, just wait for Monday Crypto News here. Fun on the Ride. Health, money, love, party in peace. Crypto a tope. And the best is yet to come. To the moon. Take me to the moon and make me feel among the stars. Maybe we go even to Mars. Cause that one's Elon Musk. La 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 la. La la. Fun on the ride.